is the the feud quite obviously between Imran Khan and now the present army chief uh, which has uh, reached a boiling point mm -hmm. it is very difficult to say which is the action and which is the reaction which is contributing to all this because it has now become a a, a, a vicious sort of self reinforcing cycle uh, but i think the last provocation was uh, uh, the very sharp uh, uh, you know criticism that imran khan has been leveling mm -hmm. against uh, specific uh, officers of the army and uh, the isi mm -hmm. as uh, you know he has uh, in particular uh, specifically named uh, major general faisal nasir right uh, the uh, dgci of the isi mm -hmm. uh, as being responsible uh, for the attempt on his life mm -hmm. and on and on still trying to uh, physically liquidate him mm -hmm. uh, and he is also uh, so it is in a sense i would say imran khan's uh, continuing uh, and uh, you know his persistent attacks on the army uh, which possibly have uh, unnerved uh, the army, which is not used to its uh, uh, authority being uh, being challenged in this manner. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think uh, that is what really prompted his arrest mm -hmm. uh, last Tuesday. Right. It was, of course, uh, a long time coming, mm. most people would say. Sure. And it was only a question of uh, when, if not if, that he would be arrested. Right. Uh, so it happened. And of course, uh, uh, people would say that the manner in which it was done, mm -hmm. uh, it was done in a rather uh, ham-handed and amateurish manner when he was already uh, present uh, in, the, in the court premises. Mm -hmm. uh, and that, of course, uh, uh, led the, uh, the uh, uh, Chief Justice to, to uh, uh, strike down uh, the arrest. Yes.